Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at what happens if you actually bring a skunk back to camp. You actually get some unique dialogue options, specifically if you bring this animal back, which doesn't happen for every single animal in the game. We've actually covered this in the past on the channel, like for example, you'll get some unique dialogue options if you bring a legendary animal back to camp. Whoa! Don't see one of them every day. Bill. Hi, Molly. What a rare creature. You okay? Nice. That's a decent size. There she is. Oh, that's a beauty. Jesus, where did you find that? Bill. Good hunting, Morgan. Always good to see you. That's enough to feed the camp twice over. My, what a tremendous beast. Hey, Strauss. Hi, Taylor. I'm taking a break. Been paddling about with that dead later. thing for a while, Arthur? Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Why don't you take that over to Pearson now? Uncle, you look lost, Arthur. You forget where Pearson is? Board means no scared. point in carrying that thing around all day. I'm grateful for being bored, lady. Molly. Enough, you're gonna be scared. Hello, Mr. Strauss. You seem to have grown so quite fond women. of carrying that beast around. The world was for us. Hey. You've been uh, carrying that around for a while. Hey there, Jack. Well, you sure do like that dead freezing. thing, Uncle Arthur. Well, not yet. Mr. Strauss. Have you lost your way, Arthur? You've been carrying that for a while. Hi, Molly. You are getting to be a bit of a peacock carrying that around. Williamson. You still carrying that animal around? Oh, Driscoll boy. Careful. Flies will get at that if you keep carrying that around. Hey, Uncle. Can't eat that if you don't get it to the cook. My lady. Oh, how long are you going to carry that around for? Mr. Strauss. Aren't you tired of parading that beast around? Take it to Pearson. Good old Bill. Get that in Pearson's pot. I'm starving. So that was pretty cool. That's a video we've covered previously. And there's some unique dialogue options you'll get if you bring like a cat or a dog back, but they aren't really specific. Like for example, they'll just say like, why'd you bring this back? Or I don't think you can cook that. Or I don't think you can utilize something with that. But the skunk in particular has some funny dialogue options, which we're going to be taking a look at in this video today. Now, if you're wondering where you can do this for yourself, there's a couple locations in which you can find a skunk. Uh, the first is kind of southwest of Riggs Station. It's also really close to Fort Riggs, sort of in that little uh, road interchange right there. Basically, look for the Z in West Elizabeth, and that's where you'll find them. And if you don't have any luck there, another location is going to be just to the west of Ringneck Creek sort of at the top where the body of water starts to form like a little bit of a lake. It's kind of underneath the E in Lemoyne. So that's what you want to look for. And if you just want to try this experiment, you don't need to keep it a perfect, pristine three-star pelt. But if you are, you're obviously going to want to use the proper hunting supplies and materials so that you can uh, end up creating some of those items. But that is where you can find a skunk if you want to try this out for yourself. And then, of course, all you have to do is basically throw it over your shoulder and then bring it to camp as either Arthur or John Marston. And you will get some very interesting responses from other members of the family and other members of the gang. Take a listen to this right here. All right. What are you doing bringing a skunk in here, Arthur? I wonder about you sometimes. Any problems? Not any new ones. You okay? Whew, that smell you or the skunk? Always good to see you. You and your new friend aren't going to be too welcome around here. Mrs. Adler. What the hell are you bringing a skunk back here for? 
Hello, Mr. Strauss. Lord, the camp will smell of skunk for hours now. Hey. What are you doing bringing that skunk in here? Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Get that out of here. It smells terrible. Hey, Charles. Hi, Mary Beth. Oh, my God. Is that a skunk? Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Oh, you ain't so bad. Mr. Bell. Look at this pair of skunks. <laughs> All good, Charles? That thing stinks. Get it out of here, Arthur. Susan! What are you doing? Get that okay. skunk out of here! It ain't easy getting that stink off your clothes. Careful. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. Tilly! Get that skunk out of here. Lord have mercy. Doing a good job there. Thank you, Arthur. Hi, Karen. Smile, Arthur. How are you doing? Hey there, Jack. Skunks are too smelly. You okay? I'm good. Uncle? What are you planning on doing with that skunk, Arthur? Good old Bill. What are you bringing a dead skunk in here for? Don't get too comfortable now. I won't. Hi there, y'all. Hi. Get that skunk out of here, John. Hello. Good evening. A skunk, huh? Well, if John Marston had a mascot, that'd probably be it. <laughs> You brought a skunk in? You all right, Jack? All right, so I found that to be incredibly hilarious that Rockstar literally programmed unique lines of dialogue if you brought a skunk into the camp. And if you're John, you brought it back to Beecher's Hope. I think that is amazing. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below, or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send photos, videos, and more, and messages for potential future video ideas and experiments you'd like me to try. Do you think there's any other animals that you could throw over your back or your shoulder that would uh, get a unique response like this? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did gonna enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel, and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.